Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to solve the problem of ad may not run potential policy issue. This particular problem has been affecting a lot of people. As you try to boost an advert directly from your page, you will get this error message. And I want to let you know that there are two basic ways you can solve the, this problem. So the first one, let me just show you. I was trying to run an advert and this is exactly one I have run. It is being approved as you can see preparing or is active preparing means is active now and they are preparing to deliver it to people so the advert is running so how did i do it let me show you how exactly i did it there are two methods so i will show you all of all of the two methods okay so first of all you come to your page and then you post whatever you want to post so for example let's say you post this one and then you are about to boost it then you click on boost post when you click on boost post, you will get the error feedback. Don't worry, just forge ahead to do all the settings. Maybe if you want to, um, for this one, I want WhatsApp message only. And then I also scroll down. I also here to, I don't want automatic. Just choose the goal you want. I want more messages, WhatsApp messages. Then you scroll down further, come and choose the number of days and then how long you want it to run. So for this one, for example, I just want to put something like um, $14, $2 a day for one week, okay? Then after you are done with everything, just come and then click on publish. Now, when you come, you will still see this error message showing you all that. Just ignore it. It is not, it's just an error message. They have updated the Facebook algorithm and sometimes when they make update, there will be some batch, uh, uh, there will be some back, B-U-G or error message. So. You just have to, um, you ignore it. There's nothing um, there. So you just have to ignore the problem you are seeing here and come and click on publish. When you publish it, the advert will be published. So let me do that and you see. So click on publish. Okay, so it's being submitted. Then um, if you come here, let me refresh it. Then you see that the advert is actually been, so as you can see, it's scheduled. This is it. It has been scheduled. So it will be approved, but because I already did it, I don't want to do it again. So I will delete it and show you the second method you can use. So I will delete it. Now, after you use this method, if it doesn't work, you can use the second method. How is the second method? You click on create, then you come and click on whatever, engagement. Normally this particular problem is with engagement advert. So you come and click on manual setup, then you can, give the name of your campaign. This one, for example, I want to use trial. I'll click trial because I'm just trying to demonstrate to you trial ads campaign. Then you click next. From next, you will come and select. I want to select WhatsApp message. I don't want Instagram direct message. I want that people who sit on Instagram should WhatsApp me. Then you scroll down and select your budget. So let me say $5 a day. $5 a day, I'm making it um, maybe um, five, maybe about seven days, one week. So you come to your audience. When you get to the audience, click on switch to ori original audience options. Use original audience. Then um, below it, you click on create new audience and then you select your location. You come and then change your location or put what, whatever location you want to put there and then um, after that, so let me say Rita Accra. So you choose your location, okay? Choose the age and everything. I already have an audience, so I don't want to go through the process of creating an audience. If not, after you do all that, click on save audience, then you save it. But this one, for example, I already have an audience. So, and this is that audience that I want. So I've already picked the audience. So you come here and then choose your placement. So make sure you choose the right placement. Uh, manual placement, remove these two and then leave only this and this. Then you click on next. So when you get to the ad level, you have either single image or video or carousel. So single image or video means that you want to just click on add a picture, add a picture. So that's one picture. And after you add the picture, then you can add um, the description, the description. 
you can add the description of it here in the primary text. Where is the primary text? This is a primary text. So the primary text is, um, let me use this one as a primary text. Um, the current text that is there is this one. We are delighted to offer you opportunity for, but I just want to edit and choose the correct one. So let me go and choose the correct message I want to put there. Then you come and then put it on your primary text. And that will appear at the top, whatever, whatever you put at the primary text is supposed to show at the top here. Yeah. Um, it seems it is still not showing and then there's an error. So let me just rectify it. Good. Good, good. So I've now added it at the right place. Um, so when you add the text, it is supposed to show here. It is supposed to show at the top here. You can also add <clears throat> if you have any description. So for example, um, I can decide to add my phone number at the bottom of this particular place so that it will appear here. So instead of chat with us, I will say call us and then it will appear accordingly. And after you've done this, you can just publish it. This, um, if you have more pictures where you don't want to use one image or the uh, video, you can come to the create ad. You, you see, um, use existing post. So you can click on use existing post. Then you just go and then click and then take the picture, the post that is already there and then publish it. Then also, if you don't still don't want to do that, you can also come and click on create ad again. And then when you click on create ad, you can use carousel. With a carousel, you can combine pictures and videos together up to a maximum of 10. So when you come to carousel, you click on add card and then you select an image or video and then you do that. So it is going to be in the form of, um, they can be scrolled from right to left and then there'll be a lot of them that will show on the preview. So you make sure that you take time and follow, choose the option that you want. And if you follow this procedure very well, you are definitely going to get a solution and then you'll be able to publish your ad campaign without the original problems you initially had. If you take time and follow this, you will be able to resolve it. If you follow it and you don't get a solution, leave your comments in the comment section. You can also follow the WhatsApp or Telegram link to contact me, and then I will help you get a solution to your problem. Once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.